Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Gavin's Garage. Today we're going to be doing a full load test on the Craftsman 3300. This generator right here has 3,300 watts starting 2,500 running. The only thing it does not have is an eco mode switch. They decided to remove the eco mode switch. So we're going to be testing that feature. Is it better not having an eco mode switch? One of the things I like about not having the eco mode switch, it really forces you to uh, run the generator at its full efficiency, full gas efficiency, meaning that if you don't run it wide open all the time, you'll save more gas. And most people think that they have to run the generator off eco mode. That's not the case. Let's see if uh, it can start the same load at the, as the other 3300 or if it's going to struggle a little bit. Covers. Twist lock, 30 amp. Before we do the test, let's change the oil. All right, I've been running this generator. It got about an hour on it. They all have about an hour. I'm gonna show you how to change the oil. And I think you should change the oil within the first 30 minutes to an hour of your generator's life. Extend that life. Okay, so you do have this little door right here. But unfortunately, that only works to check the oil and adding oil does not work when it comes to uh, changing the oil. In order to change the oil, you have to remove the side cover. Let's do that right now. So in order to remove your side cover, there's four screws. Guys, if you notice, this is the side opposite from the uh, recoil starter that comes right off. The door comes off with it. This is your side where you change your oil. It has this nice little drain pan right here, so all the oil just slide off to the side. What I'm gonna do is pull it off all the way to the edge so I can tip it. Okay guys, so we're gonna drain the oil real quick. So like I showed you, the oil is gonna fall in here. I'm gonna put my bowl right here, catch all that oil, all right? So get your top off. I did run the generator for like two minutes to kind of warm up the oil so it'll drain properly. You can see all that metal flakes in there. When you drain your generator like this, when you tilt your generator, you may find that some gas comes out of the carburetor. Drain hose, that's because you're tilting the uh, bowl. It's okay. Changing the oil is usually a, usually a messy job. Kind of clean everything up. Okay, I want to show you guys the oil. You can see all that metal flakes in there. This is a magnetic dipstick. Okay. You see how it's not picking up the, the flakes? You see how it's not doing anything to the metal flakes? Do you know why that is? Because all that shiny stuff you see, it's not metal, that's aluminum. You can't pick up aluminum with a magnet. It, it just doesn't work on aluminum. Okay? So I understand what you guys are saying. But that's, that's not metal. All right, let's move on. Just have to make that point. Okay, guys, got your oil. Make sure everything is nice and clean, no oil dripping. Your oil should be right to the edge of the screws. Go ahead and put your cap on. 
All right, guys, you got your oil change. Make sure if any gas fell, it didn't fall inside your generator. Get everything nice and clean. Put your top back on. All right, guys, you got fresh oil. It's time to do the test. Okay, guys, we got the generator situated. I have everything I need for this test. Let's get it started. Do a choke. Since this generator does not have an eco mode switch, it automatically goes to uh, eco mode right when you start it i like that feature you see i just changed the oil i don't want to rev up the generator I, I like the feature let's see how it works i may not like it at the end of this test okay so we're going to be using the 30 amp um i have my gauge so we can monitor the voltage let's plug that in it's putting out right about 123 volts while we're doing that, let's go ahead and get a uh, sound reading, DB test. Okay guys, we're right about 23 feet. Fifty-one point eight. Getting right about fifty-one point eight zero load. I'll do another test at fifty and one hundred. Right up on the generator. 62 right up on it champion 3300 okay guys let's get inside get the test started Got all lights on okay let's check the power coming out from the uh, generator Okay, pure sine wave inverter, real clean power. You see that sine wave? Real nice and real clean. That's what we want to see. What that does is that allows you to charge your cell phone, laptops without causing any damage. You know, you have a low TVH, it has a clean sine wave. You should be able to power everything, anything that's sensitive with this generator. Okay, guys, let's see how we handle an induction stove. Let's turn that on. Handle it real good. Sine wave still pure. Nice and clean. Hundred and twenty one volt. Right at eight hundred. Let's put some more power on this. Okay, let's turn it up a little bit. Okay guys, this is half load. Right about a thousand watts. Let's do a DB test at 23 feet. Half load, 50%. Right at 56 dB. Handles that real nice. You can see the water is almost boiling. Handle that real good. Turn on the refrigerator. Let's see the handles, the fridge and the, the microwave. One minute. I already have some water in there. A little surge. Okay guys, I'm gonna run that microwave one more time. I really want you guys to see how the generator reacts to the load without the um, use of eco mode switch, okay? Microwave on right now.
119 volt 1870 watts it handles it really smooth I've seen some videos where people are trying to start their 15 BTU AC and having a hard time with this maybe they didn't do any service to the generator I ran this generator I changed the oil before I hit it real hard that has a lot to do with the power delivery voltage is real good 119 okay let me turn the AC on. I'm gonna leave it in the exact same position. I want you guys to see it and I want you guys to experience the surge. Okay, AC's on. I do have soft start. It's gonna turn on the fan. It's a little cool. It's gonna take a little longer. There it goes. That's the fan, 600 watts. And there's the compressor. Pulling right at 1,000. 100 watts I think it handles it I think it handles this test really good okay let's go for the overload so I do have the AC running refrigerator on why don't we try turning on the uh, a small heater Turn on a small heater. That should be overload. Remember, she handles 2,500 watts. We got 2,650. Oh yeah, 2,700. That's considered full load. We have the overload light flashing. Let's do a quick uh, DB test. Right at 63 dBs on full load. All right, guys. I turned off the AC. There you go. So that's just a refrigerator and a 1500 watt heater. Oh, that's definitely a pass. Definitely a pass. Right, let me turn off the refrigerator. I got a small heater right here. And all this time, perfect sine wave. All right, so we just tested the uh, Craftsman 3300. Wow, I like the way it delivers the power. Didn't see any problem at all with the uh, eco switch being off. And I think uh, if you guys are having problem with that eco switch being off, you're using the wrong generator for the wrong job. Get a bigger generator. This one is meant to do exactly what I load tested it for. If it's, if it's having trouble, you just need a bigger generator, guys. For what it's worth, 3,300 watts, 2,500 running. I think it works perfect without the eco mode. And you should save some more gas because a lot of people forget to turn that eco switch off. I am sorry. A lot of people forget to turn that eco switch on and burn way more fuel than they have to. You'll probably see more of this in the future. Saving gas. Okay guys, I wanna thank you for watching this video. Guys, if you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and push that subscribe button for me. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. Tell me if you think it passed, if you think it's a decent looking generator, if it ran the load right. I think it did. Let me know what you thought. Guys, thanks for watching my channel. Have a great day. Bye.